welcome back to We Talk Cricket. Afghanistan has <laughs> beaten Ireland, recording their first victory in five ODI, after five ODI losses, sorry. What a game we have in our hands. What a game. Without further ado, my peeps, let's jump into it. We had Afghanistan back first, posting 310 for five off of their 50 overs. An amazing total to post in any 50 over game, more so when you're able to keep wickets in hand. Really, really, really solid, solid game for Afghanistan. Battle for Afghanistan, we did have Ramanula Garbas finally getting back into some form, hitting 121, including his 50 at 6 in T20. Now, this young man is only 2023 24, like seriously, just paving the way for Afghanistan cricket with his batting. He received some solid support from Ibrahim Zadran, who made 60, and also, Hashmatullah Shahidi, who made 50 not out near the closing of the innings. Now, here is a big pro for Afghanistan. Partnerships were key. Partnerships were key. Gurbaz and Zadran put on 150 for the first wicket. If, if you couldn't have asked for a better start, it's right there. Right there. They took to the Ireland, Irish bowling. Like, seriously, they had no answers for them. Like... Once they got through the first five overs, Afghanistan were like, all right, let's put you under some pressure. Let's attack, but play smart cricket. And they did that so well. Like, Ireland had no response on how to stop the flow of runs or how to break the partnerships. Eventually, eventually they were able to do so. But, man, Afghanistan, you showed today, hey, we still got something to prove. We can still win matches. We can still build partnerships. We can press forward. And that was good to see. You're able to score runs consistently, keep your run rate high, and maintain your wicket. Well done to you. Bowling for Ireland. We did have Theo Van working, work on picking up 3 for 55, leading the fight for the Irish bowl attack. Now, big con for you Ireland right there for me is the fact that you just sat back. You sat back when the Afghanistan batter started attacking you. No man, you, you always got to be thinking one step ahead of the batters. Think of a way to induce a false stroke. Think about a bowler you can bring on and just like make something happen. I felt like you're stuck. Like when you started getting attacked, you're stuck to the same bowlers who went for like 30 and two overs. I'm like, no, 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 no. You switch things up. Bring on a part timer. Do something different that they have not seen. That's how you really get into a batter's head. But just some things to work on, just some things we saw from the fans' perspective. Now, Ireland, Ireland, their response make 275 for eight off of their 50 overs, with Harry Tector smashing an unbelievable 138 in a losing effort. Just a really well placed fifth ODI century. Like, uh, he, whenever he makes a cent, a half century, he normally tries to turn them into hundreds, and he does that very often. Very well done to you, young man. Sorry it wasn't a losing effort, but very well done to you. He did receive some good support from Larkin Tucker, as always, reliable, reliable batter, making 85 as they tried. Like, they, they basically took Ireland from 34 for 3 to over 200, putting on a 170 run partnership. Like, for a chance, for a moment there, you thought Ireland had a chance, and they really did. They really did if they could have picked up the pace in the runners. But I, I've seen, I, like, a big pro is the fact that the Irish team, the middle order, has fight. And that fight is what can carry them through. Now, as always, just like in the test match, lower order does nothing still. We got, there's something you still got to work on Ireland. Work on that lower order batter. Batting. Even if they're bowlers, they should be able to bat. 10, 20 runs adds up. Trust me, it really, really does. Anyway, bowling for Afghanistan, we did have Fazal Haq Farooqi picking up 4 for 51 and receiving some good support from Asmatullah Arzai, Omar Sai, sorry, who picked up 2 for 47 as the Afghanistan bowlers utilized the wicket well, tried to get Yorkers in there and just really put early pressure on the Irish, except for that big partnership between T Tucker and Tector. Tucker and Tucker. <laughs> but besides that, really well done from you, Afghanistan. I, I do felt I do feel like you could have you could have stemmed the flow of runs a little bit better. I mean you had Ireland 34 for three. You they we could have probably put them on in some more pressure. But once the Irish started attacking you, you did the same thing the Irish bowlers did. You sat back and you didn't like try to bring out part-timers, you didn't try to put in somebody that you they've never seen before. You didn't do that. You just stuck with the basics, and that's how they were able to attack and get away from you. All right. 
Anyway, anyway, it's done and dusted. Our Afghanistan can win victors. Congrats to you. Take a one nil lead going into the next match. So anyway, my peeps, let us know in the comments below what do you think is going to happen. Can Ireland bounce back and win the second ODI to square the series off? Or will Afghanistan continue their dominant performance as they have started so well in this ODI series and win again? Because hey, you know we're going to have to talk about it. Where else, everyone? But right here on We Talk Cricket. And I'll catch you next time so we can talk some more. Later. Reach out.